He has risen from the dead, Jesus is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is the Lord, yeah. He is the Lord. He has risen from the dead. He is the Lord. Hallelujah. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Oh, He is the Lord. Hallelujah. He is the Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is the Lord. Every knee must bow, every tongue can face that Jesus Christ is alone. Mankaram Brahindo Shuri Brahanka is alone. He is alone. Amen. He has risen from the dead. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every knee must bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus. Christ is the Lord, hallelujah, he is the Lord, amen, he is the Lord, hallelujah, he has risen from the dead, Jesus is Lord, every knee must bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Oh yes, he is the Lord. He is the Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead, is the Lord. Hallelujah! Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Sharam Brahindara Makunda Santua. He is the Lord every time and everywhere. May the name of the most holy, may the name of the most true, may the most name of the most true be glorified. You are the Lord every day. You are the Lord in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night. You are the Lord in Africa. You are the Lord in North America. You are the Lord in South America. You are the Lord in Europe. You are the Lord in Asia. You are the Lord in every part of the world. You are the Lord forever and ever. In the morning, in the afternoon and night. You remain the Lord, the King of King, God of God, and the mighty man of valor. Unto you alone be the glory, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give you all the praise. We worship you, Lord. Unto you alone be the glory forever and ever. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you for your word. 
As a word is coming forth right now, O oh Lord, let it release life, let it release deliverance, let it release healing. And the word is coming forth right now, O oh God, let the power of healing, power of deliverance, power of restoration, joy of the Holy Spirit, renewal, O oh God, restoration, peace, divine revelation be given to them and that woman right now as the glory of God flows and Christ be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God will bless you more. And more and more and more in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you all. I can see a lot of you from the United States of America, from Africa here, from European countries here. Wherever you're listening from, God, the keeper of Israel will keep you. The protector of life will protect you. The preserver of life will preserve you. And the mighty man of Allah will keep you forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For he that keepeth his rest shall neither sleep nor slumber. The keeper of Israel will keep you. The protector of Israel will protect you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God be praised. God be honored. God be adored. Amen. God bless you. We are still on that topic that says consecrate yourself to God. Do you want to see God? Then you just don't wake up in the morning and begin to see God. There are steps, there are approaches, there are things you must do to see God. Now, one of the things you must do is that you must consecrate yourself. Set yourself apart, set yourself pure, set yourself holy, set yourself aside and say, I am for Jesus. I decided for Jesus and I will continue with Jesus of Nazareth. Can you consecrate yourself today? Not wherever you talk, whatever rubbish come, you talk rubbish, you tell lies, you talk this, you talk all this manner of jargon. That is not where it is us to be. You got to really consecrate yourself. We have been teaching you steps of consecration, how to consecrate yourself. Now what told you number one, you have to really realize all your sins, then meditate over them, may realize them, confess them before the Lord. Repent of all of them. When you must have repented of all your sins and unrighteousness, you go for baptism. If you have not been baptized, go for baptism. If you have not been baptized, I plead with you, please, go for baptism. It will go a very long way to help you. Those that don't have opportunity to be baptized, that's a very different case. But when you are baptized in Christ, oh, when you, are, you have time to baptize, please go for baptism. Are you hearing me? Okay, I told you the baptism is outward real manifestation of inward reality. That promise you have bound, that thing you have believed inside, you come to the whole world and say, I'm being baptized today, I'm a follower of Christ, I'm no more what I used to be. From today, the righteousness of Christ is upon me. That is water baptism. If you have not been opportune to be baptized, in the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, please go and be baptized. It will go a very long way to help you. I also tell you to separate yourself from the world. If you really want to go closer to God, if you want the goodness of the Lord to really come closer to you, then what else are you going to do? The next thing you're going to do is that you draw closer to God. Are you hearing me? Draw me closer, draw me closer, Lord, draw me closer, closer to Thee. Oh yes, my songs every day, Father, closer to Thee. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, nearer to thee, nearer to thee, Lord, draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Well, today, talking about consecration, that's the topic, part 22. Today is part 22 of consecration, part 22. God will keep you, bless you, and favor you. We've taught part 21 last week. Today, we're talking about part 22. God, the keeper, will keep you. Hallelujah. Today is part 22 of what we're talking about. Hallelujah. Okay. The, 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 after you must have uh, separated yourself from the world and from everything that will defile you again, what are you going to do? You draw near to God. It's a command. There are other processes and procedures which I'm going to tell you which I'm going to do uh, about drawing near to God. But I just want you to draw near to God. It's an opportunity for you to say bye-bye to everything. Bye-bye to worldly friend. Bye-bye to evil friend. Bye-bye to immorality. Bye-bye to small lies, small truth. No, bye-bye to mix supper. Bye-bye to small drunkenness and the hiding to drinker. Bye-bye to gossip and lies. Bye-bye to forgery. You must do something. And what is it? Draw near to God. Draw near to God. You must have to draw near to God. May the mighty hand of grace help you to draw near to God. You must have to draw near to God. Draw near to God. Draw near to God. Okay? You are reading the book of James chapter 4 verse 8. 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 If we start reading from verse 7. 
Let's read 7 and, verse 7 and verse 8. James chapter 4, verse 7 and verse 8. James chapter 4, verse 7 and verse 8. Draw near to God. Beloved of God, can you choose to draw near to God? Drawing near to God is the best thing that will happen to you in life. James chapter 4, we are reading verse 7 and verse 8. James chapter 4, verse 7 and verse 8. God will keep you as you keep writing them, tabulating them down. God bless you. James chapter 4, verse eight, 7 and 8. All right, we'll we start from verse 7. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Do you know the moment the devil saw that you are living a holy life, he will come to try you, he will come to know. Every man, the devil is not worrying and troubling, is under the clutch of the devil. Are you hearing me? As far as you are living a clean life, a separate life, a purified life, the devil will send a lot of his agents. They will come in the school, they will come in the working place just to provoke you, just to cast your thought down, just to bring your morale so down, 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 and deeply down. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse yourself, cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts. Have you seen it? The Bible said, draw, verse 8 said, draw near to God. Can you draw near to God today? It said, draw near to God. Give me grace to come draw nearer to the nearer to the nearer to the Lord. Draw me nearer, nearer to the Oh, my songs every day. Father, draw me closer. Draw me closer, closer to thee, closer to thee, closer to thee. Lord, draw me closer, closer to thee. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Draw near to God, Emmanuel. Draw near to ancient of the days. Draw near to mighty man of Allah. Draw near to immortal and invisible God. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. When you come closer to God, God will come closer to you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse yourself, clean your hands, you sinner, and purify your heart, you double-minded. Cleanse yourself. That is why I told you. But when you want to consecrate yourself, you must have confessed to sins, uh, uh, view yourself, saw your shortcomings, and repent of them, and confess them. When you must have finished confessing them, if you have not been baptized, you go for baptism. When you must have gone for baptism, then you begin to separate yourself from the world, from the evil walk, from evil lie, evil word, evil everything. You begin to separate yourself from everything that does not give God glory. When you finish separating yourself from all this evil, when you finish separating yourself from all this nonsense, then you draw closer to God. You come closer to God. He said, God, I've made up my mind. I'm going to come closer to you. I've made up my mind. I'm going to draw closer to you. May the mighty hand of God, the Bible says, draw near to God, and he will draw near you. It's a two ways of faith. While you are coming, God is coming. The more you are going closer to him, the more God is coming closer to you. Because it's a two way of faith, he is coming, you are coming, you want to meet at a point. Then, when you are not consecrating yourself, he is going and you are going. There will be separation. When you are separating, he is separating and you will be far away from God. Question is this, how many millions of miles away? Many people are millions of miles away from God. Some are hundred miles away from God. Some are tens uh, of kilos away from God. Mm. Some are one to ten kilometers away from God. Some are half kilos to God. Some are one minute away from God. How close are you? Some are very deeply in God and with God and move with the power and mercy and glory of the Lord. For how far, for how long? For how long will you remain like that? You are not with God, you are not with the devil. Then you are in between. You are just, you are not a worshiper of devil and darkness. And you are not a worshiper of the true and the holy God. Then where are you? Where are you, beloved of God? Why are you doing this thing to yourself? Why not draw closer to God? Draw closer to God and God will come closer to you. The mighty hand of grace work upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. And Christ's name shall be glorified and prayed. And Christ's name shall be magnified and uplifted. In Jesus' wonderful name I pray. Draw near to me. Draw me nearer. Draw me nearer. Lord, draw me closer, closer to thee. Oh, my songs every day, daddy, closer to thee, 
closer to thee, closer to thee. You cannot get anything except you are closer to God. My people say, the adage of my people say, he that is closer to somebody, you see that he has the odor of the mouth. Every mouth has a, a little, no matter it how, how it smells. It can be fresh one, it can be sweet one, it can be odd, bad odor. But because you are closer to that person, that is why we know how the mouth smells. Are you hearing me? Draw closer to God. Can, there are a lot of things that you're drawing closer. Many of us are closer to their boyfriend. Many of us are closer to their girlfriend. Many of us are even far closer to their wife than they're closer to God. God said, draw closer to me and I will draw closer to you. Come out from them. Come closer to me. So many people are closer to their phone. So many people are closer to their job. They have made their job, their brother, their husband, their wife, their everything. No, you won't have that satisfaction there. You won't have that joy here. There's only joy in Christ Jesus. There's only joy in deepening yourself in the Holy power of the Lord. There's only joy in the purity power of the Lord. Draw me closer to yourself, O God. May the mighty hand of God help you. May the mighty hand of God help me and draw closer and closer and closer and closer. And may we say happy glorious days in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the holy word of Israel bring us closer. In the book of Ezra chapter 24, verse 1 and 2. Ezra chapter 24, verse 1 and 2. Ezra chapter 24, verse 1 and 2. Can you choose to draw closer to God? All that went closer to God, all that made up their mind, have a special time with the Lord, spend time with the Lord, and choose to come closer to God. Like I told you, as we're going to be expanding this closer to God, you're going to see other steps that bring you closer to God. Hallelujah. In the book of Ezra chapter 24, from verse number 1. Ezra chapter 24 from verse 1 and 2, Ezra chapter 24, verse 1 and 2, Ezra chapter 24, verses 1 and 2, Ezra chapter 24, verses 1 and 2. And he said unto Moses, Come up unto the Lord, thou and Aaron, Nedab and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship you afar off. He said unto them, Come up unto the Lord. Come up, come up. That means come closer. Come closer to God. Come and see what God will do. And Moses alone shall come near the Lord. But they shall not come near. Neither shall the people go up with him. He said, come near, come near. Oh my God. You know, the, 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 this Moses and the elders of Israel were separated from them. They are going closer to God. But by the time they want to come, God told them, you are not too clean to come nearer. If you come nearer, I will remember what you have done. You have not confessed. I will remember your lie. I will remember your bragging. I will remember your pride. I will remember your hatred. I will remember your envy. I will remember those things you are hiding. No, don't come closer. Only Moses that has a transparent life, a clean heart, a pure heart, a loving heart, a heart to intercede, a heart that say that God will be done, a heart that make God number one, that's the only man I want, that's the only person I want, only Moses will come up, and the Bible, the word of God say that Moses went up to meet the Lord, in verse 2, and Moses alone shall come up near the Lord, Every this is a divine election, it has been done, God said only Moses is who I want, he's the only one that is clean, you, when you're consecrating yourself, you need to do everything every aspect of your life. Touch every aspect of your life. Touch the past life you have lived. Confess them. Sometimes I will remember what I did even as an unbeliever. I'll say, child, I did this thing. So, oh my God, forgive me. I'll just say, oh God, I'm sorry I did it. That was what made me a sinner. Blood of Jesus has forgiven me and cleansed me. But whenever the devil wants to create any guilt in my heart about it, I'll say, no, I've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus of Nazareth. And the Bible said in the book of 1 John chapter 1, Verse 8, 9, and 10. If I confess my sin, then he's just and faithful to forgive me all unrighteousness. God has forgiven you. God has cleansed you. God has purified you. If you have made a confession of Christ and live the holy, clean, and the pure life, when you are maintaining the standard of God, the glory of God and power of God will be upon your life. Hallelujah. To God we are the glory. Yeah, only Moses will come nearer. Will God permit you to come nearer if you were existing in those days? Will he be told to come nearer? Will he be told to come nearer? May the mighty hand of God help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the glory of God help us to come nearer God. Daddy, I want to come closer to you. I want to know more of you. I want to know more of your power. I want to know more of your excellency. I want to know more of your dignity. I want to know more of your unction. I want to know more of your anointing. May the mighty hand of the Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the mighty power of Christ help us to know more of God and more of his anointing. 
more of his grace in the name of Jesus Christ. More of his un uh, uh, unchallengeable power, anointing and grace. God of heaven and earth will help us to know more of this God and more of his power, more of his excellent dignity, more of the reality of his power. Lord, I want to know you. I don't know if you have taken that decision before in your heart. When you are telling God, say, I want to know you, I want to love you. I want to know more about you, more of your greatness, more of your goodness. Oh, may the mighty hand of God help us in Jesus' name. May the glorious hand of the Lord help us to know more of God. I want to know more of you. I want to draw closer. I want to come closer to you. Moses was going. It was thundering. A lot of things were happening. Oh, oh, how can this happen? They were seeing the glory of God and the power of the Lord. So do I want to meet God? I don't know if you have met the presence of the Lord before. If you have not met the presence of the Lord, you may not look what it happened like. One day I was praying in my house. I think that was when I was even in secondary school. The glory of the Lord came. The anointing came was shaking me. I, my eyes was open to see the glory. When I saw the glory, even the hairs in my body were shaking. My teeth were vibrating. My bones were shaking. Every part of me were vibrating. God manifested in power. God manifested in glory. Oh, may the great God help us. May the mighty hand of God help us. In the name of Jesus, draw nearer to God. There are things that will help you. There are apparatus that will help you to come nearer God. There are steps and practices that will help you to come nearer God. But the same God will help you to come nearer Him. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God Almighty will he make a name for Himself. Oh, that is why now is opportunity for us to see God. In Isaiah chapter 55, verse 5. Isaiah chapter 55, I want to read verse 6, 7, and 8. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6, 7, and 8. Isaiah chapter 5, 5. That's 55. 5, 5. Isaiah chapter 55, let's read from verse 6 to 7. Okay? Uh, 6 to 7. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6 to 7. Isaiah chapter uh, 55, 5, 5, 6 to 7. Okay, 6 to 7. Isaiah chapter 55, 6 to 7. Seek you the Lord while he may be found. And call upon him while he is near. God is there right now. Beloved of God. You can see God right now. You can repent from that sin now. You can confess that sin now. Don't wait till eternity. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't wait to confess that sin. Confess that sin right now as I'm talking to you. Confess it. Consecrate yourself. I say, God, I'm sorry. I am not worthy to be a child again. I repent of every sin and every unrighteousness. Give me grace to be your own child. And when God forgives you, you're forgiven. And when God has cleansed you, you are cleansed. Now. Every guilt in your heart will disappear. Separate yourself, beloved. Separate yourself, the beloved of God. Separate yourself and only cleanse yourself and put yourself in the hands of the Most High God. Seek you the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is there. Let the wicked forsake you with and the unrighteous man... He is taught, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. What a merciful God we have. God will pardon. God will pardon. He is God, he understands. He will pardon. He will pardon. And he will pardon. Can you go back to God? Can you personally come to him and say, God, you are the real God. You are the real man of war. You are the real legend of the days. I come before you, Lord. I come before you, Lord. I come before you, Lord. The mighty hand of God will help us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we are of the world. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. We are in the world. We are not of the world. Oh, draw me closer. Draw me closer, Lord. Draw me closer, closer to thee. Oh, my songs every day. Daddy, draw me closer, draw me closer, closer to thee. Draw me closer, closer to thee. Savior, draw me closer, closer to thee. Mashanda, this is time to worship God. This is time to come closer. Somebody may be asking, which time is the best time to come closer? Now, 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 now is the best time to come closer. Look at Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 6. 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 For there shall be a day that the watchman upon man, Ephraim, shall cry, Arise you, let us go up to Zion. 
unto the Lord our God. Somebody will steer people. Somebody will draw somebody nearer. You could be that man. You could be that woman that will steer people around you and tell them it's time to worship God in holiness. And tell them it's time to worship God in purity. And tell them it's time to worship God in pure holiness and pure righteousness. For now is the hour. And tomorrow might be too late. Now is the acceptable time. Tomorrow might be too late. Now is the hour of worshiping Him in spirit and in truth. Draw nearer to God. Can you come nearer today? When Bible said when you come nearer to God, God will come nearer to you. When you draw nearer to God, God will draw nearer to you. The King of King, God of God, and the Lord of Lords, the excellent Father of all the rock of ages, want to draw nearer to you. Can you accept the drawing nearer of the Lord today? Can you accept it? Can you say, Lord, draw nearer to me? And I will draw nearer. God is coming towards you. Are you running away? When he was coming towards Adam, Adam was running away. Okay. Ah. Mama, 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 mama. Oh, come on. He has got, we have been consecrated. Do you know you have been consecrated already? Look at what the Bible said in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 20. What a consecration. What a mighty consecration. God wants to consecrate you. That sin will no more be dominating your life. Anger will no more rule in your life. Hatred will no more be ruling your life. Lost and immorality will no more be ruling your life. How many times have done abortion will no more be the acquisition of your life. The blood of Jesus wants to wash you and cleanse and purify you. You go to this place, they prepare something for you. You keep it. You have your charm. You have whatever nonsense they prepare for you and your boldness to call upon the name of the Lord. I want to warn you, God is not a hypocrite. As men that have one God or the other they kept in their house, in the cupboard, in their box, anywhere, and still call upon the name of the Lord, they are taking very great risk. Thunder can blow anytime. Anger of the Lord can burst at any time. The Lord is not happy with the way we've been worshiping Him. The Lord is not happy that we are Christian and we still go and do demonic and devilish things and still come to Him. No. God is interested in making us great and real. And let His name alone be magnified. For great is the faithfulness of our God. We want to say thank you, Lord. Mm. I love that song that says, Jehovah, we say thank you. Omega, we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Some people say, Immortal Redeemer. Let the mighty name of God be glorified in Hebrew chapter 10, verse 22. Hebrew chapter 10. Let verse 20 now. Let's read Hebrew chapter 10, verse 20. Okay? Even verse 22. Let's read verse 22. Hebrew chapter 10, verse 22. Hebrew chapter 10, verse 22. You're welcome to this program, Alice. God, the keeper of Israel, will keep you, protect you in the name of Jesus Christ. Woman of God, even the Chinelo, thank you for being on the program. God bless you. As you're drawing closer to him, the Lord will keep drawing nearer to us. Okoro Jennifer, you're welcome to the program. God will keep you, bless you more in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that all of you are here. Many of you are here. Listen, Lord, you here have been writing for me. Thank you so, so, so much. All of you have been writing for me. I know you're all here. God, the keeper, will keep you and preserve you in the name of Jesus Christ. That which is the desire of your heart. The Lord saw the burden you're having. The burden is so heavy. You're carrying it not on the head, you're carrying it at their neck down here. The burden is too much, but the Lord said, For your sake, I shall remove the burden. For the Christ's sake, I shall remove the burden. Because of doing my work, I will remove the burden from you. I will make you a free man, I'll make you a free woman. I'm going to put a smile in your mouth again, says the Spirit of the Lord. Your joy has been sapped away. You don't have peace, you don't have joy. It's like everything has gone away. But I tell you, there shall be a restoration. There shall be a restoration. God, the most holy God, the most high, will restore you again. We we'll give you peace again. We we'll give you joy again. We we'll give you total divine healing and thought of God in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 22. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 22. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 22 says, Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. When you're coming to God, come with a true heart. 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 Beloved of God, come with a true heart. Come with a believing heart. Come with a, 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 a uplifting heart. Come with a heart. The Bible said in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 22, Let us draw with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, having our, having our heart sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure blood. It's only the blood of Jesus that can wash our heart, make it clean again, so that we're going to hear God, so that we're going to uh, 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 hear God speak His word to us again, and speak the word of power and word of life to us. Can you do the separation as you draw to do separation? Can you draw closer to God? Can you sing this song and say, draw me closer, draw me closer, Lord, 
Draw me closer, closer to thee. Oh, my song every day, daddy closer to thee. Draw me closer, closer to thee. Oh, draw me closer, closer to thee. My songs every day, daddy draw me closer, oh. Draw me closer, closer to me. Do you know that God is nearer you? You that the writer that talks of God, God is drawing nearer, you're drawing nearer. You may not know that he's just too close because you're, the righteousness you're doing, he saw his son Jesus in you. He saw that you're pleasing Jesus and keeping the commands of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is coming towards you. The Lord is coming closer to you. What shall he find you doing? Mm. In the book of Psalm chapter 145 verse 18. Psalm 145 verse 18 To prove to you how near the Lord is Do you know sometimes when we live We don't feel the presence of God We don't feel this and that and that No, the Lord is with you Are you hearing me? The Lord cannot abandon you He cannot leave you alone He is your everything He is too jealous of you He cannot As far as you have set up your mind To worship Him Forget about any other thing Worship Him in spirit and in truth God Almighty will keep you In the name of Jesus So people of God, now is the hour to draw nearer to God. To say, God, I've been far from you. When you're far from God, you cannot hear the word of God. You cannot see the mercy of God. You cannot see his miraculous hand. But draw nearer. In the book of Psalm 145 verse 18. Yes, Psalm 145 verse 18. The Lord is near unto all them that call upon him. To all that call upon him in truth. If you call upon the name of the Lord, it's near to you. And then to come and differentiate it again. The people that call out of truth. Not the people that call out of mouth. Not the people the Bible talk about in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 21. That many will come that day, Lord, Lord, we did miracle in your name. We did this and this in your name. You say, depart from me, I never know you. You walk out of iniquity. May the mighty hand of God help you. May the mighty hand of God help me. So that we're going to be who he wants us to be. So that we're going to stand upon the truth of the word of God. God is willing, God is ready. And God is saying, are you ready to come back? Are you ready to draw near me? Are you ready? There are people that will start from January to December. They will not have a, a, a time of thinking. They will not have a, a time of memorizing the scripture, having a memorial, a quiet time with the Lord. Every time their brain is heavy and busy. Look, oh, let me tell you, you soon run out of God. Are you hearing me? You, saw, you have been inside him, not busy, not doing anything. The Bible wants us to be busy with him in the work of God and in other things that we're doing to end living. Don't jump from January to December. You tell me you didn't fast, I didn't pray, you know, this and that. That's unnecessary excuse. You are attracting the power of devil to visit you. And when this power shall visit you, don't say, ah, because of this or that. No. Draw nearer to God. When you come closer to God, the devil and the power of darkness is, they will go. They will go. Psalm 145, verse 18. The Lord is near unto all them that call upon him. If you choose to be calling upon the name of the Lord, it means that the Lord is with you and closer to you. So that, do you know he can speak to you? Do you know he can talk to you at any time? That is the purpose and that is the destiny of being in the Lord. In Psalm 145, verse 18. May the mighty hand of God help us in the name of Jesus Christ. God Almighty wants you to draw nearer. He wants you to forget about that boyfriend, that girlfriend. He wants you to forget about that issue at hand. God, Lord Almighty, the greatest Father, the great I am that I am. Oh, His name is higher than the highest. We give Him all the praise forevermore. War a mighty God, we serve. Hallelujah. War a mighty God, we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore Him. And just bow before his throne. What a mighty God we serve. We give you all the praise, O oh Lord. We thank you. We worship you, Lord. Hallowed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' and mighty name we pray. Amen. We have a true God and a real God. God has said, I am ready, man. If you can make this demarcation, I will come. I will come to you. I will come in you. I will come with you. I will eat with you. Oh, God of help, help us. And may the mighty hand of God help us. We're going to round up this message here about uh, drawing nearer to God. Do you want to draw nearer to God? Please do. 
draw nearer to him, and then you will be useful in the hands of the Lord. May the power and peace of God help you. Having heard this word today, are you ready to say, Lord, I am ready, I'm very much ready to draw nearer you. Can you say, what is it that put me away from you? Can there be a total surrender? Say, I want to draw nearer you. If that is your desire, if that is what you are saying, can you say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry I am a sinner. Give me grace to be your own. I've repented of every unrighteousness. I now confess my sins. I ask you to give me grace to be born again. Now and forevermore. May the mighty hand of grace fall upon you. May the mighty hand of glory fall upon you. Keep on protecting and preserving you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the great answer. God will keep you. God will protect you. The keeper of Israel will keep you. He that does not sleep nor slumber will help you out. And see so you thoroughly through in every aspect of your life. It shall be well with you in this month of July. The mighty hand of Christ will rest upon you in the name of Jesus. And Jesus will be honored at all. Jesus will be glorified and magnified. Thank you, Father, for everything of God. Peace of God be with you in the name of Jesus. God bless you until I see you again. God remain your Father. Now and forevermore in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Keep you. Protect you. By next week, okay, by next tomorrow, we'll still be online again. By next week, we're going to still be online. Be our guest and continue hearing the word of God. God bless you. Amen. And amen and amen and amen.